Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my shed. What are we looking at today? Aprilia's SR50. There are two sorts. We'll talk about that in a second. What do you get for your money? Not a bad looking bike. 13 inch wheels on here, nice and stable on the road. You get a nearly an 8 litre tank, um, just over a litre of oil in these, so two T's. Good bits, they do look good. Lovely display, quite a tall, chunky bike. Speed, good speed out of these. 30 restricted, unrestricted, well in the 50s. I know, I've had it. Two sorts of engines, right. Carb, which this is. That's the only good thing about this bike at the moment. And a Diatek injection. Stay away from them. All right, they're okay when they're running. When they start messing around, doom. To be honest with you, I've had a few. At the end, I'll show you a couple of videos about the fault codes and so on. But the Diatek engine, oh dear, the, 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 the injection system is nuts. Once it goes wrong, it's like a BMW I'm working on now doing timing, the M40 uh, engines. Uh, they're buggered. Carburetor, messes around. You just change the carburetor, a couple of quid. I've played with injection system many times before you get nothing out of them. Anyway, what's this pile of uh, dung, shall we say? Uh, got it from a local, very professional trader who um, sells quality bikes, as I said in my other little video. Um, headstock's gone. And let's have a quick look around at what really bugs me. You may want to get a cup of tea, but here we go. Cable tie. Cable tie. Cable tie. Cable tie. Cable tie. Broken. Cable tie, cable tie, cable tie, cable tie, cable tie. Yes, and even cable tie. There's more cable ties, but I've just got bored of showing them. Ugh, cup of tea time. Hmm. Bloody hot cup of tea. Okay, let's move to the front, shall we? Front of these bikes. This is the only nuts thing about them. Um, underneath these cable ties here, let's get rid of the cable ties, shall we? You know I hate them. Ching ching. One. Two. Three. Four. Yeah. Five. Well, that came off easy. And cracked as well. Six. Seven. So you eventually get this off with your two screws that hold this on. You needed to bring a screwdriver with you when you wanted to fill up your 2T, which is here, next to the water. Often people thought they weren't 2Ts and ride them, and then of course the heat sees and realise they were 2Ts. Anyway, Darth design, and it's the only one that does that as well. Most other bikes have it either where you sit underneath or in the middle a bit. Uh, this is the only model that came like this as far as I'm aware. But anyway, uh, yeah, more panels coming off. So I'm just assuming that... Good God. Uh, there must be another cable tie somewhere. <laughs> I've honestly never had so many cable ties on a bike. Um, it's just mental. Uh, yeah, there's another cable tie somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Let's do that one there. And... You know one, I don't know. That's just, that's just terrible. This way, don't do cable ties. There's, there's nothing good comes out of cable ties. What it took him to just put some proper nuts and bolts in there, and, and, and oh, I just don't know. So what's wrong with this one? It starts wrong plug in there, but it does start. Um, there's going to be a carburetor clean on this one. There's going to be fixing the seat, which the locks here to fix the seat. All the panels will come off of this bike. I'm going to strip it down to the bare bones, basically. Um, as I said, the headstock's gone on this one. Um, and I've got glue panels. If not, buy new. Oh, good God, look at that. I mean, that's destroyed. I don't know if it's been an accident or somebody that's been doing wheelies. I've seen this sort of damage. Probably still hot. <clears throat> I've seen this sort of damage before when people are doing wheelies. Um, they go up, all great, lean on the back. When they come down, it comes down with such force that the suspension comes right up, the belly pan splits, everything falls apart, and the headstock goes. It's not twisted, but this is what I'm assuming the last owner did with this. The tail light's gone on this as well. Um, let's have a quick view around it. So the front does look quite nice. Indicator's nicely planted up here. 
only thing that looks stable-ish. Front wheel, nice and chunky, 13 inch disc. This side, shocks do have a nice clean. Very nice display on these when they're on, um, you get all the information you need. Mirrors, nice and chunky mirrors, you can't knock them. And easy controls, high beam indicators and horn on this side, just electric start. The odd but convenient uh, bucket that should be uh, bolted in there somehow. This way you'd assume would be the oil. I mean, they had enough room to put it there, if I'm honest with you. But just battery goes in there, which again, that's supposed to be clipped in. And battery, oh well. Here's the little switch that does the um, boot catch. As you turn, you can hear. So, I don't know what's wrong there. Under the bucket, you're not going to get a helmet in there, but you may get a pint of milk and a loaf of bread, something like that, when you pop down the shops. Petrol, yes, nicely underneath the locked seat, which doesn't lock. The decals, except for the scratch to hell, nice looking. Even the shed. Bye. The rear, missing light. Nice looking, really. I mean, people tail tie that is sometimes. Very bald back tyre. Totally legal. Disc rear brakes though, ginormous air filter, kick and electric start, got to check all that out, you know me, check the variator. And that's the thing you now I'm actually quite happy to see, a carburetor and not injection, still cable tied though, get rid of that. Single shock, this one's got a sports exhaust, always nice to see, this isn't too noisy, I've heard it running, it's not too noisy. This model is water cooled, as you see earlier. A real common problem with these is the stand. Can you see this bit here? I've been told people cut them off to get around corners better, but I'm thinking they're just really poorly made and they snap. So what we're going to do with this one is put a bolt in here, connect a bolt round and have it out here. So the person that has this bike will be able to get it on the stand. Ugh. Wiring. Oh dear. See this bit here? I don't know what that's about. Someone tried to weatherproof them maybe? That just means I've got to take the whole damn thing apart now and have a look what someone's messed around with. Short quick view of an Aprilia SR50. I know it's in the uh, shed, but you've got pictures on old um, Google and stuff. This is just the start of it. What I'll do next is take it all down. You'll see another video of this, so wait for that one. At the end of this video, there'll be a surrounding of some old Aprilia SRs that I've done. I've got loads of speed fight videos, over 300 and odd now on big bikes, small bike reviews. If you keep watching them, I'll keep making them. And all I like to do is like, subscribe and share them. Be well happy. <laughs> and you'll see this next time, hopefully, uh, up and running and looking good. There's a bit of money to pat on this bike. Tire, not alone just the cleaning and cable tires, maybe lots of parts as well. Um, but as I say, the only good thing about it is the engine running. I'm babbling. Take care of yourselves.